Hello. How are you this week, guys? I haven't seen you in one week, and I sound like Manuel from Forty Towers. Okay, I thought I'm going to have another rant. This time, about buses. Why? It all started today, when I got on the bus. It's kind of a stupid thought, you know, because... Of course my rant about buses is going to be when I got on the bus. Actually, it's not though, because it was late. Again. Now, I understand there are roadworks, and I understand that sometimes buses can be late. But it was raining, my hair getting wet, not the best thing. Not something you would like. I get on the bus pretty much every day, and it is not something that I particularly like to do, but I kind of have no choice. This morning when I got on the bus, when it turned up, I show my bus card, and I pay over my money, which is going up, but he had no change. Fair enough, I didn't have the correct change to give him, but I can't help that. I could have had less and then he wouldn't have let me on, would he? And it is not like they say, no change given. However, I am still short 30 pence. It's only 30 pence, but it's the idea of principle. He did not give me my money back, and I'm not happy with this, because technically that is theft, because it is with the intention to permanently deprive. It's 30p, yes, but he had the intention to permanently deprive me of my friggin' money. I'm not happy. Normally, you wait till they last stop or they give you some stupid ticket, but no, because he'd already processed my ticket. Another reason I don't like buses is because normally I'm stuck on there with the kids. Loud kids annoy me. Let's just leave it there, especially when they're shouting. I'll calm down. Nice and calm now. <sighs> oh, I wish. So I'm sitting there on the bus and I'm having to wait after my normal stop because he's got no change and I'm expecting to give it hit me at the last stop. Guy presses the button for the bus to stop. Does the bus stop? No. It goes straight past his stop. This guy leaps up from his seat and tells the driver to stop. The driver turns around and goes, no. What's this? Oh, perfect competition. See, that's one thing, there's not enough competition on bus routes. Maybe that would increase, increase service better. But it just annoys me because when I'm standing there at the bus stop as well, I've had many buses just go straight past me which means I'm late. Apparently that's not the bus foot company's fault, is it? When a bus goes straight past you, because they can't be bothered to stop. And yet, after all this bad service that we end up receiving, the ticket prices are going up on the 1st of April. Buses do not turn up on time, you don't give the correct change, your bus drivers are rude and lawbreakers at times. Ah, that's another point actually, because when I was on the bus today, this is how much of a stupid driver we had. Now, I'm on the bus because I can't drive yet, but I know enough that you do not enter the roundabout when there is someone coming from your right. Let's just say there was some very good hand indications from the driver that he cut up today. He has got a bus of 40 odd people and he cuts some, a driver up. Now if that b driver had not stopped, not only would the driver be injured, so would the passengers. And whose fault would that be? Train your drivers to drive, please. But after all this, the prices go up. Yeah, it's 10 pence, but it's still going to be a pound a week extra I'm going to have to find for this kind of service. And yet, petrol prices are coming down, inflation stagnant, Come on. Why are you raising the prices? So, I hope you've enjoyed this rant of the week about buses. I don't know why I don't do a rant of the week. That'd be quite good. If you have liked this, make sure you like it down below. And I also do a lot of other YouTube stuff. So you might want to subscribe. Uh, you might want to follow me on Twitter. And my Snapchat is there as well. So you can add me on Snapchat. And you get to see this face when I'm on the bus complaining about it. And trust me, I'll go on the trains and I prefer them a lot better. And the planes for that matter. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. Twitter, you can't click on that, but there's a link down below with my Facebook and other things that you might want to add me on. And I am thinking about doing a new, 
a You Now live stream at one point. I'll tell you about that a bit more in another video when I get round to actually doing anything. Last week's video is at the end that was really interesting to me and that is about when I went to Glasgow and you might want to see some photos of Glasgow. If not, I'll see you next week. Life's good, be together, don't quit when it's shit and I'll see you soon.